This coffee's chunky. Hey dudes, this is me, Macaroni. We've all got a morning routine, and mine is the outcome of months of dilly-dallying. Which is an odd phrase, because if somebody were to come up to you and say you had a nice pair of dilly-dallies, you'd feel very concerned about whether or not they're a pervert sent from the past to fondle your loins. Hello, governor, may I fondle your loins? <laughs> but if you were to discover a field of dilly-dallies, as far as the eye could see, just waving in the breeze, you'd be in awe. You'd be like, wow, those are some very phallic looking flowers. And then, oh, oh, what's that? They're blossoming. Right, schedule, waking up in the morning, that kind of thing. So I've decided that the smartest thing to do is wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Yes, I know it's early, but still, I know in the comments you guys are gonna let me know about how you guys wake up at 5 p.m. It's just like in my streams, where if I bring up, or if I even mention the word 24 hours or 24 hour stream, I'm gonna get several comments, several uh, chat lines of people going, oh, well, well, Mac, at, at band camp, uh, I stayed up for 72 consecutive hours doing a tuba solo. Which I always follow up with, well, you know, who really is the winner here in this pissing contest? Me, who's finally able to go to bed after 21 hours. Or you, who's duct taping their eyelids and huffing gasoline to just stay awake. I thought so. I'm waking up this early because it makes so much sense. It feels like the rest of the world hasn't woken up yet. I get out of bed immediately because I know Within moments, I'm going to be succumbing to a bunch of ridiculous games that I think all of our brains try to play. Just five more minutes. Well, I'll just close my eyes for a little longer and get up in ten minutes. This one is personal because I always do this. Okay, it's... 8.11 right now, and I'll look at some tweets until exactly 8.17, and then I will force myself out of bed. Okay, this time at exactly 8.22, I'm actually getting out of bed. Ah, fuck it, I'll try again tomorrow. You see, I wake up, I grab some breakfast, I go for a run, I come back and work, I have a mid-morning snack, I start streaming, and bam, I'm off to work, or getting ready for a cooking stream, or relaxing. Instead of just waking up every morning at 9 a.m., getting kind of a breakfast, already streaming, and then going to work feeling, you know, hungry and uncomfortable and tired and moody. Right now, the world? is still quiet, is still groggy. When afternoon rolls around, the kids that like to frequent the playground that I am unfortunately living near, they start to scream and shout, and my room, especially in the summer and spring, starts to heat up, and it feels like, I don't know, it feels like a place that Ace Ventura would be perfectly fine with. Streaming live from Uganda. Yeah, sure, I go to bed around midnight, but it makes sense. We're creatures of habit. So for those of you who go to bed at 3 a.m. some days, 1 a.m. other days, and on weekends, 2 a.m., you must feel really cruddy waking up in the morning. At least for me that happens. And also staying in bed for too long. Can't do it, man. I ain't no mummy, all right? I ain't Brendan Fraser either. But hey, to each their own, all right? Your routine is your routine and you can always tweak it till you're satisfied. I wanted to be more productive. 
uh, more active and, and more accomplished. Essentially bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And I now wake up at 7 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. And I'm sure that the girlfriend will love that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I know. I say it all the time. All right. But I'm going to tell you this. Okay. One like equals one prayer. For daily YouTube vids. Yeah, I said it.